Hi everyone, this is Frank DeMora, and yes, I am still on my break, but after what I saw today about the news coming out of the European Union, I just had to make this short video for you. And of course, I will be back in full force on July 17th, uh, and uh, I'll be continuing on the, the study of the book Revelation when I come back as well. But if you are new and you just discovered my YouTube channel, I'd like to invite you to go to my prophecy site and uh, you'll see the, the site BibleProphecyMan.com and once you're there just scroll down you can click to my book the link right there and you'll be able to download my documentary for free today but what I'm gonna get into right now because this it, this could be a major major deal when it comes to Bible prophecy and you'll see why now in the Old Testament Daniel uh, was told by God that just before Jesus Christ comes back, Rome, or the old Roman Empire, as you see here, a map of the old, this is what it looked like, all the nations that were in it, the old Roman Empire would revive again in the last days. And in the last days, just before Jesus Christ came back, the last part of this Roman uh, revived Roman Empire would be that there would be ten leaders or ten nations of these leaders, ten kingdoms if you will, that are headed by leaders of each nation. And the Lord shows us sim symbolic, symbolically uh, in scripture they're referenced to ten toes, sometimes they're referenced to ten horns, but we do know that there will be ten kings. There will be an offshoot of the old Roman Empire and they are going to give all their power over to the Antichrist who will be ruling at the last in the last days and who will try to fight against Jesus Christ and obviously Jesus will defeat him. Now Daniel tells us in Daniel chapter 2 verses 43 or 41 through 43 that this revived Roman Empire is not going to mix well. I'm not going to read the whole scriptures for you, but I'll just give you an outline of it, that in the last days when the revived Roman Empire comes, they're not going to cleave together. They will mix badly, like iron and clay. They don't mix well. Some will be strong, some of the nations will be strong, some will be weak, and that's essentially what we're seeing in the European Union, which is the western legs of the old Roman Empire. Now it's important to remember that the the last part will be the ten toes, or these ten kings who give all their power over to the Antichrist. Now the European Union isn't mixing well right now, they're breaking down because of the problems with the economy. The debt issue is killing them and they're trying to come together to hold the European Union together but I think what's going to happen is eventually it will, the, some of the states are going to separate off and uh, what will happen is ten of these nations will solidify or give their power, uh, come together and they will be handing over, just like Jesus and Daniel told us, handing over their power to the Antichrist. Now this is what Daniel tells us in Daniel chapter 7 verse 24 and the ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings so it's very easy the symbolism of it he is using to show us these horns but they're really kings and this is the ten out of this beast the ten horns that will shoot out of this beast and he says there are ten kings it shall arise and another shall arise after them and he shall be diverse from the first and he shall subdue three kings and this is the little horn that Daniel talks about that will shoot up once these ten horns or these ten kings are firmly established now this is the little horn or the eleventh horn that will shoot up and he's going to subdue three kings uh, we don't know who they are yet there's a there's some hints to it but uh, for now just suffice that there are ten kings who will, when they're established the little horn antichrist will come up will subdue three and we're seeing uh, again very very important uh, news that is showing us that these things are actually in the process of taking place now Jesus in the book of Revelation chapter 17 
verses 12 and 13, this is where Jesus talks about it, and he says this, primarily the same thing, but I thought it important to give it to you. And the ten horns, again, he likens it to horns, the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings. So he tells us the same thing that Daniel uh, referred to us about these, these, uh, this issue with the, uh, the revived Roman Empire. So we know, again, they are people, kings, leaders of nations, which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. And uh, so knowing that, back in, for example, in June 6th, this is, I'm going to be quoting from myself here, uh, giving you, I've been giving you warnings. To, this is what you should be looking for because we've already seen the establishment of the western leg of the old Roman Empire. So we should be beginning uh, to see the other offshoots of the prophecy, like the ten kings and maybe possibly the the three kings that will uh, be subdued by the Antichrist. But this is what I wrote back to you in June. Of course, I do have uh, later warnings that I gave or earlier back in 2011 and so and some of these warnings you're going to find in my book when you read that so I'll just leave it at that but it says this in, in my post and here's the link if you want to go to my site and read that link it says events being played out in the European Union right now may lead to the ten horns Daniel warned us about and the ten kings of which Jesus warned us about in the book of Revelation now the ten horns of the ten kings are one and the same, and I just showed you that in my uh, in my uh, analysis of what both Daniel and Jesus showed us. It says we we know that once the ten kings are here, shortly after the little horn or the Antichrist will rise to power. We are watching what comes out of the EU's meeting as they are taking or talking about forming a new union as a result of the debt mess in the EU. Is it possible that the union could end up uh, being a union of 10 nations running the banking system for the EU? And of course, this is one of the possibilities that I said I am looking for. So there, that is definitely and still is a possibility because they're coming together this week uh, talking about forming this new banking system. So that's another one of the things that I'm looking for. But going on, it says, I'm watching these events very close. Daniel also warned the revived Roman Empire would not hold together, and it could be possible that if the EU nations break off, they may just might end up forming a group of ten. At this point, we see the EU is do doing exactly what Daniel showed us as they seem to be breaking apart at the seams. And here is, again, that link to that. And then uh, in this article I gave you the uh, the news talking about what I was showing you how that the European Union they the leaders some of these leaders are looking to establish a, a power base in other words give one man really ultimate authority within the European Union which they don't have they have a president of the uh, the Commission and they have the president of the European Union but he doesn't have powers like, for example, the United States president would have. And that's, this is essentially what they want to do. They want to give one man similar powers, just like President Barack Obama has in the United States. And, of course, this is the article that I gave to you. But now I'm going to push further back, um, if you will, to show you that it is in, this is important very important and this is the news of today and the headline for that news today reads this 10 countries for the United States of Europe and right away when you see that the 10 there that should r raise the red flag now going to the articles you see it coming out of Europe and of course this is on the 20th that this came out and uh, I just saw the news today, and the article reads like this, 10 countries for United States of Europe. 
the EU foreign ministers participating in a study group for the future of Europe aim to exert pressure to transform the EU into a federation along the lines of the US. And together they have prepared what the front page of the headline in Die Press describes as a plan for transformation into a European state. Now on the 19th of June, the 10 ministers, or again, if you want to go back to Daniel or the book of Revelation, the 10 kings, or the 10 horns, or the 10 toes, the symbolic part of it, but they're actually leaders, and here in this case ministers, presented an initial report to the UN officials who will likely benefit the most from the initiative. President, the commission president, Jose Moreno Barrasco, European Council President Herman Van Rompuy, and he's the man who has the most power right now. He is the president of the European Union, the 27 nations. And uh, the European Central Bank President Mario uh, Draghi, and the Eurogroup President Jean Claude uh, Juncker. So it says the study group of for the future, initiated by Germany's uh, Gaidu, where is it? Gaidu Westerfield, which does not currently include an official French representative. And one of the reasons why they, they put this down here is because France has been one of the more active and one of the more powerful nations in the European Union, along with uh, Germany and Great Britain. And uh, I thought, if you're new, you may not know that, but this is also one of the, the three nations that I've been looking at. The Germany, Great Britain, and France just could be the three nations that the, the Antichrist will subdue when he actually gets full power, but that means to be reseen. So moving on, it says uh, processes to put an end proposes to put an end to an ordinance of the national government leaders and give greater, here you go, listen to this, please, greater authority to the European Commission. In particular, the European Commission President, who will be elected by a universal suffrage and granted the right to form a governmental team, making him or her the most powerful politician in Europe. So essentially as I'm looking at this, and I'm not perfect, but as I'm looking at this and as I read Daniel in the book of Revelation, what they're talking about is what I can see is forming the position of the Antichrist. And you have ten leaders or ministers, as you read in this article, coming together solidifying or at least attempting to solidify this and give power over to one person. And if you know scripture, scriptures always come to pass. The Bible is 100% accurate. The Lord always tells us the truth and everything that he says comes to pass. And I don't believe that it is a coincidence that we're seeing these 10 leaders coming together talking about giving one person complete control of the revived Roman Empire. So that is the, the focus, the primary importance of this article. Now there's one other thing that I want to show you. I'll let you read the rest of the article. It's not that long. But the rest of the article talks about, the, gives you the names of the foreign ministers from, you have Germany, uh, Austria, Belgium, Denmark, but take a look at this, Italy is in a mix. Now the reason why I'm telling you this is because you can't have a European Union without Italy. I mean, a revived Roman Empire, you can't have it without Italy because Italy was the old Roman Empire. And so Italy has been uh, in the major mix ever since 1950s when Italy uh, and two other the nations decided that they were going to try to form a universal European nation. And they've already done it. But now that they've done it, they're you know fulfilling prophecy. They're having problems like Daniel said in chapter 2. They're starting to fall 
apart and they're trying to solidify it now and now we have the 10 leaders coming together trying to again establish and give one power base to one man it's going to be a man now now i know that the article said a man or a woman but the lord tells us it's going to be a man and he he's going to be the antichrist so that this this news is major it is definitely uh something that uh, we should be watching especially when we see the exact numbers that jesus talked about and not just the numbers but they're talking about the 11th one giving a um all the power to one person in the european union and that's why i thought this news is very very important for you to understand what's happening in the revived western leg of the old roman empire now if you don't know too much about bible prophecy and you want to know more about the ten horns the ten kings and uh, how and what's been going on then you're going to want to go to my book and uh, read chapter two of my book you can get it right now and uh, download it for free right now and go right to chapter two read all about the formation of the european union and what to expect and uh, it'll bring you up to speed so again i will be back in full force god willing on the 17th of july but until then you Please take advantage of my book and read it. It, it is uh, going to give you more information than you're going to find in any of the bookstores. Notice that it is the current issue, June 21st, and it is up to date, and uh, it is free. So God bless you all.